My name is Markus Rabe. I am a professional farrier for hoof orthopedics. My team and I are in Romania today in Constanza by the sea. This is a charity project for horses confiscated by the veterinary police. A real institution for children in need with hippotherapy. Horses from confiscation are used. They get a second chance in life here. A really great life. The horses are very well cared for. But there was no vet or farrier at this place. They tried to get one for a half a year, but nobody helped. Now we have set this up. We are here regularly, free of charge of course, to help the abused animals. On the left is Tiffany. She is an equine physiotherapist and orthopedic farrier. On the right is Bogdan, the director here. Our vets are with us this time. There is our veterinarian, Dr. Andrea, and in the car is Dr. Mirella. They have now put on their work shoes so that they can start right away. We are here to help and look at this. These are pictures that you hardly ever see in Romania. He has just brushed the horse. The horse is well fed. The lady standing there with the light blue shirt is a veterinary police officer here who is in charge of the whole project. It's a real riding facility here and that's great. We have brought lots of presents for the riding students here. As you can see, everything has arrived here. We try to help and bring the things. This is one-to-one -one help that has direct impact. Helping children and animals for free feels so right. That's exactly what I mean. Look, there are the two vets and the farrier Tiffany. Yeah, the man doesn't get it at all. They don't know that farriers and doctors look at horses in motion. They don't know that. Total misunderstanding. We always have the horses shown to us before and after showing. The Norwegian horse was examined. We decided to put two horseshoes on the forelegs. The horse was touchy. It could not walk well and was very sensitive. We have tried to make the best of this situation. And we offer medical help and hoof technical help hand in hand here. You can see how stalky the horse still walks. But before it was much worse. Classically we only shoe with four nails in one hoof. Four nails in a hoof are four nails too many. I say as a farrier. Six nails are six nails too many. And eight nails are eight nails too many. But there is no avoiding it here today and we have to weigh up all the pros and cons. In this case it is an advantage because the horse can walk again and I hope that in 8 weeks we can take the horseshoes off here again. And this is the job of a farrier. But there are also orthopedic shoes and other corrective shoes. Without correction this horse would not be fit for riding. In this case with two iron horseshoes. I thank all the people who support us and understand this, what we achieve here. And that now for the next three days for over 30 horses for free. Uh, Dr. Andrea, do you want to tell something about this horse now? Yeah, the horse uh, was a little bit lame. Uh, he was sensitive on uh, his uh, hoof, but uh, now we fixed the problem, so it's uh, wonderful. We ja, ja, ihr habt gehört, wir haben das jetzt mit dem Hofbeschlag erstmal gelöst, fährt war lahm. Dr. Mirella, uh, do you want to tell something about this horse? Yes, this horse is very nice, but he's a bit fat and we speak with the, the people from here and we ask them to take care of at, uh, at, uh, his food. <laughs> yes, I think the viewers have already seen that the little one is a bit chubby. That's why the vets say that even though it's well intended, it's a bit too much food. Tiffany, the farrier, is now demonstrating this and the vet Mirella has just put on her apron. She's about to do the same. That's female power. And all those who say that women can't keep up in the craft are wrong. Especially here in Romania, you can see what women do to uphold the country. I am completely serious about that. We now have so many women in the craft. Master craft women, engineers, mechanics. And that is wonderful. At last, we've got rid of the blinkers. Those old fools have died out who prevented such things from happening. I still know them from my time. 
I remember what was mocked when Tiffany apprenticed with me 17, 18 years ago. Even colleagues in the profession have said that it's a breach of tradition. This is complete nonsense. That's woman power. The farrier holds up the hoof and the veterinarian learns to shoe the horse. And that is what makes us special. There is no hierarchy. Equivent is a team, everyone counts the same. That's the difference. It's important that everyone is involved. Vets, farriers, hoof orthopedics. Everything we do together through everything. And that bonds us together. Worldwide, on the road and trust for life. When I say that everyone in our team is getting involved, it is of course not just Mirella, who has just shot a horse's hoof. Of course, it is also Andrea who is now getting active, who is being shown everything. The first thing is, of course, the head work. What does the horse need? Why a horseshoe? Can it stay bath food? What do we want to improve? What added value does it have for the animal? These are the questions that first need to be answered. The vets work with us through all these steps. Stop. You see? Did you feel it? The move, then put it down. You just have to want to put the stand up. Tiffany has not only been with us for 15 years, she founded Equivent together with us. She is certified, state-approved farrier and instructor in horseshoeing, hoof treatment and hoof orthopedics. She teaches veterinarians worldwide at the highest level and I am very, very proud of it. And do you know what I most enjoy? Here in Constanza, in this therapeutic riding school and super project for horses, Bogdan has arranged our first farrier student. From autumn on, we will start the farrier school here in Romania, as well as courses and seminars, and we have the first official student. I'm so happy that it's finally going in the right direction. Not only are we looking for someone, but that we have so many people coming on their own by now. So we are helping in big steps to bring this country forward, and so of course these two veterinarians, Andrea and Mirella, will also go through all these steps. They have to know what they are talking about. They must also know practically what they will be lecturing about soon. This is the mobile farrier truck. Babo lies in it. He's always paying attention, but mostly he's asleep. This is my old farrier's trailer. I brought it with me to Eastern Europe. The customers know it from 10 to 15 years ago, when I already had it, because it was on the road with me all over Germany. Today this trailer is used all over the world and helps wherever help is needed. There are old pictures of me on it. A piece of history, but basically it really is history. Because what is taking place now is a program which is much better than working for money. And also I had to reach a certain age to understand that. Sometimes it's just nicer to work with nice people, with friends and to look at smiling faces. Also to experience sad situations but to improve these sad situations together. Whether in Ukraine, in Greece, in Bulgaria, in Germany, everywhere we are active. Just experiencing nice things by turning bad situations into good situations. Can you, can you tell what you tell me uh, one minute ago? Uh, this horse I used for hypotherapy with uh, four children with uh, autism, uh, cerebral palsy, epilepsy and uh, other disabilities. Uh, it's a very good horse because uh, the impulse is uh, very uh, uh, fine. Uh, yeah, uh, understand, understand. So what he just said is that this particular horse is for these particular missions. And of course, that's a good thing, that we are gonna get this horse running again. And it was lame again after the shoeing or never lame? Uh, never. Never it's lame? A, it's okay. Ah, super. super. Also, you see, 
As you can hear, what we are doing here is a purpose. We are not here because we have nothing to do or because we like shooing horses for free. This is a mega project that saves horses lives. With an animal protection police that works, that confiscated horses from disastrous situations and also has a place where they can take them to be rehabilitated. Those who can still work can do something with children who are in need and those who can't work any longer get a well-deserved retirement here. We simply have to support this project. It's absolutely awesome. This is a great example of how something like this can work. That's what I mean. It's about this generation, about the children. There is work going on in the stables. The horse is being shot for children. You can see what can happen when people with different qualifications get together. Social workers, riding instructors, civil servants, farriers, vets. And the result is a project for animals and children. This shows quite clearly that sometimes it is individual people who gives the signal. One can attack, destroy and annihilate. Or you can give other signals and say we are making the world a better place. And everyone who looks in the mirror in the morning should ask themselves who they want to be. We can ask ourselves what kind of people are we. Are we destroyers or are we the ones who build up? Are we the ones who help others up when they are down? That is the one question we have to ask ourselves. And that, I think, is a question that will affect this decade more than any other question. What kind of world do we want to leave behind? What kind of world do we want to see our children and grandchildren grow up in? And I know that the right people understand me. I know that others will laugh again. But I absolutely will not be banned. I am here because I can help. And that's the only thing in my life that matters to me at all. To make projects a little more beautiful, a little better, to help children, to help animals, to help horses, dogs, all people, all creatures. Simply trying to make the world a little better. That's where the riding lessons are taking place. You can see that very well. Many children have come and this way of dealing, this learning of cooperation between humans and animals, this nice way to treating animals, that can be learned, that can be taught to children. And that is what we do. For example, this beautiful Frisian horse here, who is really sweet as sugar. The doctors found out that his lungs are a bit congested, so he has been given medication and is having his feet beautifully done. So it's not just care, but above all a health check. And that is what is so important, vet and farrier together. With each other, not against each other. That's what I always preach, and that can be applied to all areas of life with each other and not against each other. Together you are much stronger, more powerful, better. It's simply the case that if you want to achieve something, you need a team. Lone fighters don't get that far. Here we have a confiscated Shetland pony. This is now the view from above. I think everyone who has a little idea understands what is going on here and how important it is that we help Romania. The horse has also been confiscated. It's good that the police have the possibilities to get horses out of such conditions. It doesn't know how to stand. The whole hindquarters already very unstable as you can see. And of course we help here. 
Ja, bei dem Shetland Pony zum Beispiel mit den krummen, verwachsenen Hinterhufen haben wir gesehen, was es heißt, was es bedeutet, keinen Hufschmied zu haben, jahrelang irgendwo im düsteren Stall angebunden zu sein. Letztendlich hat hier Gott sei Dank das rumänische Tierschutzgesetz gegriffen, hat dieses Pony rausgeholt, aber die wussten nicht, was sie machen sollen. Es sind keine Hufschmiede, es gibt hier keine ausgebildeten Hufschmiede. Diesen Beruf gibt es überhaupt nicht in Rumänien. Da stehen drei Amtswehrtrainäre drumherum und die wissen nicht, was sie machen sollen. Das, das Pferd kann nicht mehr laufen, das, die ganze Hüfte war schon schief. Und äh, da ist es doch sehr gut, dass wir diese Möglichkeiten haben, weltweit im Einsatz sein zu dürfen. Es ist ja nicht nur Rumänien, wo wir helfen, wir sind ja auch in Deutschland, wir sind in Ungarn, wir helfen in Italien, wir sind wirklich überall unterwegs. Wir waren schon bis Asien, Nepal runter, Amerika und sonst wo, Afrika. Und das wird immer größer und immer schlagkräftiger werden, dieses Projekt. Und dieses Pony ist wirklich das beste Beispiel dafür, wie wichtig es ist, so eine mobile Einsatz. Gruppe zu haben und auch äh, diese Tätigkeit so schlagkräftig ausführen zu können. So, that's a state after that. We still have to do a bit more. Cut out a bit more nicely. But of course, there are already some major changes to be seen. From above, it is already relatively straight. Let's see if the horse can already stand again. Now you can already see, on the left, that one. The one on the right was very crooked and now it looks really good. So you see, you can do something if you want to. And from above you can see, it's really hoofy again. All of these were or are confiscated horses from very, very bad conditions. The pictures were horrible back then. They were also in the media in Romania. They are now in the care of this park. Of course, the horses are getting incredibly used to people. Because there are always people around who bring carrots or a hand over a few blades of grass. <laughs> Tiffany, this is your first time here in Constanza in this park. These are 18 horses that were rescued in a highly dramatic way. The condition was really pathetic. It was even reported in the Romania media. Now we are responsible for the orthopedic care, also for the medical care. What do you say? Is this a good project? Are these horses doing well here? In any case, this definitely makes a very good impression. The horses also make a happy impression, I would say, absolutely. Yes, I'm glad to hear that and I see it the same way. They are all very relaxed here and that's nice. The children are growing up with giving the horses treats, holding something out and realizing that animals are fellow creatures that also have needs and are not evil. Something is happening in Romania and we have to support that. That is quite simple. Do you see how quickly this happens? This bond between humans and animals and this trust is simply beautiful, isn't it?